Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's take one more example. 200 logs are stacked in the following way. 20 logs in the bottom, then 19, then 18, like that, right? And we don't know the last how many are. Total number of logs are 200. This is also AP 20, 19, 18, 17, that's just where A is equal to 200 and D is equal to minus 1. Sum is given, sum is 200, correct? So, SN is nothing but N by 2 into V plus N minus 1 B, correct? So, 200 is nothing but N is equal to, we don't know, N by 2 into A is 20 plus N minus 1 into minus 1. Correct. So, what we get the equation we got is, this becomes 400, 400 is equal to N into uh, N, sorry, this is 40 minus N plus 1. Correct. This is 1, this is 40. Or this is nothing but n into 41 minus 9. So, what equation I got is n square minus 41n plus 400 is equal to 0. Or factorize this n square minus 16 and minus 25n plus 400 is equal to 0. Or you can see this is nothing but n into n minus 16 minus 25 is equal to 0. So, n is equal to 25 or 16. Correct. Now, if we have to find a 16 or a 25, right, we have to find, let's find the number of, we have to find the number of log which is in the top. So, if n is equal to 25, a 25 is nothing but a plus 20 plus n minus 1 is 24 d is minus 1. That come out to be minus 4. That is not possible. Negative number is not possible for the number of log. So, 25 is not a valuable option. A, 20, a 16 if you find is nothing but 20 plus n minus 1 is 20. 16 minus 1 is 15 into minus 1 that is 5. This is a positive number. So, the top one has 5 logs. Right? The top has 5 logs. The total number of rows we get is 16. That is the answer. 25 is not possible because if we consider 25 as option, the top row should have minus 4 log which is not possible. So, the top row have 16 logs. Correct? So, what we have done here? We saw that the number of logs is 20, 19, 18, 17 like that way. So, you see this is nothing but a AP where first term is 20 and the common difference is minus 1. We found the total term. We got a quadratic equation. We solved it. We got n is equal to 25 or 16. And then we found that 25 is not possible, so n is equal to 16. Let's do a quick recap of summary. Arithmetic progression is a list of numbers where each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term. Right? So the sequence is a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d form. Also, a given list of number a1, a2, a3, a3, the difference is constant. This a2 minus a1, a3 minus a2, everything is constant and the difference is common difference. A n term of A B is nothing but A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 D. The sum of first term of A P is n by 2 into 2 A plus n minus 1 D. It's a very crucial formula. Also, if you know the last term and first term, the sum is also called n by 2 into A plus L. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.